You can now manage simulation diagnostics interactively from the Diagnostic Viewer in Simulink. Some of the actions you can take from the Diagnostic Viewer include fixes, suggestions, and suppressions. Here is a Scenescape model of a permanent magnet DC motor. When I run the model, the simulation completes, but it shows three warnings. By opening the Diagnostic Viewer, I can see that there is a warning related to the model solver, another on the simulation stop time, and the last one on overflow. The solver related warning says that the model contains both dynamic and algebraic equations, and that an implicit solver is recommended. There are two possible actions, a fix where I can choose an implicit solver from the drop-down list, or a suggestion to disable the diagnostic from the model configuration parameters. In this case, I will choose the implicit solver OD14X and fix it in place. For the warning on the simulation stop time, I get the same possible actions. Here, I will choose the fix by entering a stop time that is an integer multiple of the step size. Finally, the only possible action for the warning on overflow is suppression. When I click on the suppress button, I get the option to restore the warning right away or to enter a comment for the warning suppression. In this case, I will enter a brief comment and my initials. Now I can simulate the model and see that the solver and simulation stop time warnings are fixed and the overflow warning is gone. To manage the warning suppressions, I can reopen the Diagnostic Viewer and click on the Suppressions tab. I can sort and filter warning suppressions by different criteria and I can also restore warning messages individually or as a group. Note that the diagnostic messages can also be managed from the MATLAB command line. For more information on that, please refer to our documentation. In this video, we saw how to interactively handle fixes, suggestions, and suppressions from the Diagnostic Viewer in Simulink.